Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft, and this is Richard. So, I am out here on this cloudy, bleak, rainy day, and I see this as a metaphor for the future. <laughs> that's not funny because I'm being serious so I am going to do a video <clears throat> on how I truly and honestly see the future and my place in it but I want to discuss this topic and I discuss actually I discuss this topic a lot on video I just never post it I uh, I think better of it, and and I don't. But uh, I think at this point, and if my predictions are are going to pan out as being true and actual, I don't think it's really going to matter. So uh, let me find a spot. Well, as a matter of fact, well, yeah. Uh, there's a tree protecting me a little bit here. I might be able to do it here. Uh, let's move on down a little bit. Anyway, how do I see the future? Well, I see it as being like today. I think it's going to be rainy, bleak, and cloudy. Uh, that's just how it is. Now, uh, people only preach to the choir. And I've said this a million times, uh, people who believe the same way I do are the ones that watch this channel. People, uh, socialist liberals, are generally probably not going to watch my channel because I don't think that way, I don't believe that way, and to be totally honest, that kind of thinking kind of irritates me to some degree. Uh, and, and I express that. So unless they're trolling my channel and just wanting to talk crap uh, they're generally not going to be on my channel now there are probably some somewhat liberal democrats who are okay who may watch my channel because i know the i know that there are some people that do watch my channel that just don't have the same beliefs that i do which is okay that's fantastic i don't have any problems with that I'm okay with anybody's beliefs. Let me say that again. I'm okay with anybody's beliefs. Any beliefs. I don't care what they are. I'm okay with it. As long as you don't expect me to follow them. That's, that's all I'm saying. You can believe anything you want. I don't give a flying fuck what you believe. Truly, honestly, don't. You can have the most grounded steadfast or ODF out there flapping craziness as ideas and beliefs I don't care what I do care about is that you don't impose those upon me that's all I'm saying so uh, and I don't see that happening in the near future now uh, huge Trump supporter huge Trump supporter I think he is one of the greatest things that has happened to this country since Ronald Reagan and that's the truth that's how I see it plain and simple uh, I truly 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 hope that he wins this election I really do I'm voting for him. I don't. I vote. I voted for him the last time. I'm voting for him this time. Now, uh, I can see idiotic people, in my view, idiotic people. And just, just uh, to get this clear, everything I state on on my channel is my personal view, even if it is as I consider factual and truth. It is still just my view. So if you disagree with me, that's okay. If you want to tell me that my facts are wrong, that's okay. It, it doesn't hurt my feelings in the least bit. 
but don't expect that to change my mind. So anyway, huge Trump supporter. I think he's done great things for this country. I think we need, we need someone like him to be in control of the country. And I, let me take that back. I don't think there should be anybody in control of the country. Uh, I am not what I consider an anarchist. I'm not. But I am a, uh, a strong believer in self-government. Now, some people think that's the same thing. I, eh, I don't necessarily agree that it's the same thing, but regardless, uh, I don't need nor do I want or desire someone else telling me what to do, period. Don't need it. I am quite capable of maintaining my life in a positive and productive way without someone telling me what I can and can't do. Now, if you desire to tell me what to do, that's fine. You, If you feel comfortable uh, believing that you or someone else needs to tell me what to do to live a, a, a positive and productive life, that's fine. It doesn't hurt my feelings that you feel that way, but don't expect me to abide by it, plain and simple. Uh, so, let's get back to the election. I, I don't like thinking about it. I don't want it to be true, but it is possible that there's enough of what I consider freaking moronic retards out there. And again, if you don't like those words, tough shit. Uh, there's enough of those out there that could screw up an election. Uh, they did it twice with Obama, so I'm sure they could do it again. Now, if the Democrats take charge, and I... And, I am not exaggerating, and I am not trying to, uh, I, I completely and totally believe this to the core of my soul. As soon as, not, not if, but as soon as, because it may not happen this election, but it will happen. As soon as the socialist Democrats take charge, this country is fucked and it's over. Plain and simple. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, in my view. Now, <clears throat> someone like me is not going to do well in a socialistic government. Uh, they tell everybody what to do, when to do it, how to do it, uh, and I, I don't know. It ain't gonna happen with me. So I do expect, honestly and truly, when they do get charged, well, they're pretty much really in charge now. I mean, they get, they're getting their way with a lot of crap. But when they do take full charge, people like me are either just going to be killed off or placed in concentration camps. And I truly, honestly believe that's coming, if not in the next, hand, in the next year or two, within the next eight years. Four to eight years. I hope Trump wins. Uh, it's not going to stop it. It truly isn't. It's not going to stop what's coming. Uh, no matter what, it's not going to stop it. But let's jump to or make the assumption that the crazy socialist Democrats get charge whenever that happens, whether it happens this next election or whether it happens four years down the road. It's going to be one of the two. It's going to be one of the two. And they've been waiting, they've been waiting a long time and they've been plotting and planning for a long time and they're really close to getting what they want. So let's just say that that happens. <clears throat> I am telling everybody right now, as soon as this country becomes like that, I no longer consider myself an American. Nope. Uh, I remove myself from society. Now, whether the government considers me removed from society is completely a different topic. But, 
I will not abide by socialistic rule. I won't do it. Hell, I barely can abide by by this republic. You know, I, I, I don't like authority figures telling me what to do. You know, yes, I vote. Yes, I live in society. Uh, I don't consider myself a horrible person. I don't consider myself a saint either, but I can self-govern myself. I won't just walk down the road and decide I want something and just take it from somebody else. I won't do it. I won't, uh, I won't do something that purposely and intently harms another person. I don't see the reason for that. At least not this at this point. Now, when they start getting freaking Nazi-like, which they're getting fucking close now. I don't care what anybody says. They're getting fucking close. But when it happens, I am not... I'm not going to consider myself part of that. It isn't going to happen. I will no longer consider myself under the auspice of control of that government isn't going to happen. I don't even consider myself under the control of the government that's in charge now and I voted for it. But I still don't consider myself under their control. I'm not under anybody's thumb. Government, person, entity, uh, anything. Nope. So... Uh, I just I'm not gonna do it and it's it's pissing me off just thinking about it because it's gonna happen so off that topic that's the bleak and horrible nature of how I see things in the very near future now <laughs>